Turtleneck today. It must be cold in there. No, it's 78 degrees. I'm exhausted because it's so hot in here. Garcon, hello. Can we bump it down to 73, please? Thank you so much. So let me tell you a story. Whoa. Get back up there. A few weeks ago, my stomach started hurting. 1-800-Doctors.com. And so I went to the doctor. I did a bunch of food allergy tests. We had discussed like a gluten allergy. We were like, okay, let's, maybe we should just cut out gluten. Maybe we should like slow down on that. That could be the reason why you experience all these stomach pains. Oh. I just bit my tongue. Now I'm experiencing tongue pain. That shit hurts. So I decided to cut gluten out. I've tried a few gluten-free things. It either goes one or two ways. One, good. This is amazing. Yum. Delicioso. I want to eat more. Or two. That is disgusting. Disgusting, nasty, terrible, and whoever made it should get a they deserve a paper cut. So gluten is a protein that's usually found in products with wheat. That is in everything. Jesus uh, I looked at my ice cream. Why is there wheat in the ice cream? I can't wait to go home and eat some ice cream. So I've gone on this sort of quest to find good gluten-free snacks. Two places, fries, you may have heard of it, and also Whole Foods. Whole Foods has a ton of gluten-free options. So I have a few of them here today, and we're just gonna test them out. What is that? Oh, sh lesser evil. Hello. This is called paleo puffs. Cause usually when something is paleo, it's also gluten free. No cheese, cheeseness. What? That's it right there, child. The smoke got me. What is that? That don't look tasty. <laughs> Ew. Okay, let's give it a try. It's supposed to be cheesy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, girl, that was like the Cheetah Girls. It took me all around the world. So many different flavors. It's real cheesy at first, and then it just goes to pure salt. The crunch is very satisfying. The flavor, not so much. Child, I guess. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this maybe... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next up, we have these honey roasted um, chickpea snacks. Chickpeas, cane sugar, sunflower oil, wildflower honey, sea salt, and natural honey flavor. That's it. Let's go ahead and taste this. It's from the company Vienna. Ooh, look at that. Okay, let's go ahead and taste it. Oh. Caught me off guard. I did not expect it. It almost kind of has the same crunch as a Krispy Kreme donut, <laughs> but it don't taste like a Krispy Kreme donut. It's kind of dry, but it's a nice, Honey flavor. I need some water. It's drying out my mouth, Jesus. Ugh. Might as well be eating uh, paper towels. I'm gonna give that one one, two, three, four. Four out of ten. Because the experience of it is not great. Ain't that much saliva in the world to help you get that down. So from the same company as the first bag of chips, grain-free egg white curls. That was right. <laughs> so I guess it's just egg white. What is going on up in here? And it's in the flavor of huevos rancheros. There we go. What is this, honey? What is that? Child, what is that? Um, okay. I don't know if I wanna eat that, child. What? This looks like a dried up, wrinkly human finger. I'm gonna eat it too. Ooh! That is good! Hold up, okay, they got the flavor 100% correct. Wow! Mm. Nutritional yeast, which gives it like a cheesy flavor. Organic jalapeno pepper powder. A few organic spices, garlic powder. It does have a satisfying crunch, but I'm starting to realize that gluten free usually means stale yeah that's what i just figured it out is that has that been left open that's what it tastes like it tastes like a stale chip but it tastes very good i did not expect that from these chips i'm gonna give this one two three four five six seven seven out of ten because i'm really not digging the whole stale situation but the flavor wow okay so next up i actually want to try this beef jerky and it's in uh the original flavor and this is from chef's cut Girl, I don't know. I don't be using, I don't be eating this kind of stuff. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> but it was in the gluten-free section over at Fry's, and I was like, oh, that would be interesting. I guess it would just taste regular. It's just meat. Ah! Mm. It smells like bacon, but it's beef. Oh my God, why is it so big and thick? Ew, why does it look like that? Oh my God. This literally looks like when you step on poop. What? And this is what you have to like get off of your shoe with a stick. Stop it. I can't 
can't look at it. But it's good. It's so good. Mmm. But it's also weird that there's just meat in this piece of plastic. How, how is that okay? You can just put meat in plastic bags and just sell it? I, I, I don't get that. Child, I feel like a caveman. That's good. It tastes like barbecue ribs. White vinegar, molasses, sugar, water, salt, onions, anchovies. Where are you going? What are you talking about? Anchovies. It's sweet. It's smoky. I'm gonna rate this beef jerky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. oh. Are you serious? Why does it look like this? What is that? I don't think this is a cheese it child. <laughs> what is this? Uh uh. Well, bon appetit. Um, I'm not gonna get up here and bash her like everybody else, but she need a lot of- <sighs> No. Dry, too crunchy, and no flavor. One out of 10. One. Next up, I'm gonna try these grain-free pizza crackers. Pizza crackers, child, yup, you heard me right. Girl, they be coming up with anything. This is from the brand, who? No, literally, who? I think it's called who, H-U. <laughs> it's gluten free, there's no sunflower oil, no weird gums, no seed. There is truly nothing in here. Half the whole thing. This is it. I'm confused. This was inside of this big old box. Mmm, it's giving breadstick. Y'all know how breadsticks be sound, looking all good and stuff, but then when you eat it, it's dry, boring. And what do you even do with breadsticks? Like the hard ones. Like, what, what, what's the point? So there are the crackers, okay? Child, why are they so, th where to go? Where to go? These are so thin, but here we go. Yeah. Mm. How much salt is in this? 260 milligrams of salt? Let me taste another one. Why would she do that? I don't know. Mm -mm. I think for what it is, like the ingredients are. Nobody cares. Um. It's not serving me pizza bagels, baby girl. Uh-uh, it's not doing that. But it's serving me like a, I'm in Italy and I'm gonna have like a authentic pizza. But like watered down, all the way down. And then let's go ahead and add three teaspoons of salt on top of it for no reason. Be careful children, that's a lot of sodium. That's what it tastes like, salt. To rate this, because it already made me catch an attitude with how small the bag was. One, two, three. I'm gonna say three out of 10. Sorry, baby girl. Let's sweeten it up, okay, with this Catalina Crunch. So Catalina Crunch is a keto-friendly cereal, and you're supposed to have it with like almond milk, but, um, or like, you know, an oat milk, whatever kind of milk you want, honestly. But it's paleo-friendly, it's vegan, soy-free, wheat-free, high in fiber, and no sugar or alcohol. I don't know how tasty this is gonna be. We like to have sugar in our cereal. And also, why is it in this bag? Why? Who made that decision? Who put it in the bag instead of a box? Oh my God, it smells so good. Ooh, that smells so good. But these look fake. Why does this look like some cereal blues clues would eat? Here we go. Come on. It says zero sugar, but it's very sweet. I think somebody Everything trying else? to set me up. So it has Catalina flour, potato flour, non-GMO corn fiber, and cinnamon. This tastes good. I'm down for this. And it's a nice crunch. It feels like actual cereal. Yeah. I like that. I like that. On a scale of one to 10, I would say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only reason I'm gonna give it a not, not a 10 out of 10, the sweetness feels unnatural. And I'm like kind of confused on that. It feels unnatural and like, I feel like they are lying to me. So stop lying to me. And maybe I'll give you a 10 out of 10. Okay, next up we have these um smoked barbecue Corn? Child, this is corn? <laughs> this looked like the stuff we fed the ducks when I was younger. Oh my gosh, it's a gluten-free, vegan, smoky, premium, crunchy corn snack. Ah! Open that thing up. Oh. Okay, it kind of look, it looks spicy. That thing looks spicy, child. Okay, I'm gonna eat this corn snack. It's just smoked barbecue. Oh, okay. Just like a shell of a corn, like on the inside it's hollow, so it's real easy to chew into. So corny. And the seasoning is really good. It tastes like a barbecue chip. You don't really get a corn taste. 
It's a very satisfying crunch, but it's not one of those things that you would eat when you're watching TV. You know how sometimes you'd be crunching on something and it'd be so loud that you can't even hear what you're like, looking at. So this is something that I would take with me like if I was going hiking or something like that. But if a friend offered me this, I'd be like, sure, why not? And apparently you can use it um, as a salad topper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Seven out of ten. I think that's pretty fair. Next up, we have from Beanfield um, these jalapeno nacho ch chips. Gluten free, non GMO, vegan. Apparently, it says positively addicting. I'm scared. Let's open this bad boy. <coughs> Them corns came back to get me. Wait a minute, hold on. Ew. What is this, honey? Oh, it, that smells like um a, the petting zoo. And y'all, why do they look like that? That's not how it look on the cover. That's the cover, and that's the inside. <laughs> that's two different colors. That's orange. This is like dead. Did this chip die? Okay, this is supposed to be jalapeno nacho, which I guess would have signified that it's going to be spicy. Got my water on deck. Um. <laughs> um. <clears throat> no. Now, you didn't piss me off. I really don't think that humans should eat that. That literally tastes like it should be a dog treat or something you would feed to like a horse. And that is a shame because they make it look so good on the outside, but it's pure lies. Mm. Next up, I have these tortilla chips. I just bought this and I bought some salsa, but it's way in the kitchen and I don't feel like getting it. So deal with it. Yeah, that smells like how it's supposed to smell. And they look how they supposed to look, okay? Wow, this is incredible. 10 out of 10, everything is perfect. I would just dip this into some salsa and I wouldn't know a thing, child. I wouldn't know a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, for the finale, last but not least, we have some gluten-free cookies here from Pepperidge Farm. This is apparently new. Girl, there was a whole big sign in the store and it was like, new girl on the block. Um, This is Pepperidge Farm's Thin and Crispy Butter Crisp. Can y'all get y'all had your moment and you failed? Ah! That thing is gluten free. Wow, it's really thin. It's supposed to be crispy. Definitely was made in a factory. Eleven grams of sugar. It ain't the best ingredients, and it's also not dairy free. But let's just taste this chai. Don't have gluten in it. Okay. Okay, it is thin and crispy. It tastes like 99% sugar. How do they expect me to eat this? When I chew on it, it go everywhere. It's messy, but it's very tasty. Like this sugar crumbs all over the place. Take then it, pick it up if it bothers no, you. Mmm, child. I'm actually gonna give this a nine out of 10 because it is still like a kind of a great cookie. And it's from Pepperidge Farm. If you're gluten free, you realize that you can't eat half of the stuff that you're used to eating, all of the stuff that you like really enjoyed. And this is Pepperidge Farm and they made an effort to be gluten free. Although it's still kind of like not that great for you. Any cookies ain't great for you sis. I ain't never been to Pepperidge Farm, but I would like to go. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. That is it for today's little gluten free haul. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the cookies. The corn was like, okay. I'm definitely gonna have a bowl of this cereal tonight. Um, the first, like the first chips, these little puffs, really good from lesser, lesser what? Lesser evil. Hated this. I'm not eating this. Don't get it away from me. Get it away from me now. And the beef jerky. This was really good, but also very scary that I'm eating dried up meat out of a piece of plastic. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed this little taste test. If you are gluten free or if you would just want to try like a gluten free diet, simply because once you go gluten free, you realize there are a lot of benefits, even if you aren't um like averse to gluten at all still there are some benefits to being gluten free and paleo and all these other things i have a lot more energy my stomach isn't bloating like all these things that's great so if you want to try any of these out I'll, I'll list them down below so you can check them out i got most of them from uh whole foods and a few from fries um thank you all for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up and if you want to stick around be my friend be my homie don't forget to click that subscribe button sis you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram snapchat tiktok but don't follow me on real life i don't want i don't need you to do that hope to see you back here real soon for another episode of will on a win but until then bye let me go brush my teeth 
I'm going to do that right now. Okay, bye.